and welcome back to my tarot corner and this spread is going to uh, be about the fact that recently it looks like Omid Scobie is obsessed with Yankee Wally. Now uh, we've seen uh, Christopher Boozy has been targeting her and Taz and Murky Meg, but he's been especially going after Hare and after Duke Pantelaimon. But then lately, uh, Omid Scoby that we haven't heard from for a long while, uh, picked up his head and started tweeting, uh, um, let's say, uh, slandering information about <coughs> Yankee Wally on his Twitter account, calling her all kinds of names that I will not repeat here. So uh, it looks like uh, both men are obsessed with uh, Yankee Wally. And the question is why? What is making them so obsessed with her more than all other YouTubers? I mean, there are so many other YouTubers that can be targeted like Lady C, like Neil Sean. Uh, there has been rumors that, uh, 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 or at least, uh, um, at least uh, Christopher Boozy tried to insinuate that he knows who A.G. Tudor is, uh, but uh, it looks like uh, they, that they are really obsessed with Yankee Wally, and this is what this spread is all about. Uh, I was looking all, at all of my dark hair uh, themed tarot decks, and, uh, and I decided to go on the Heaven and Earth, which is the most... A Rider Waite clone one that uh, has a darker theme to it, but it, but is more uh, relatable because the other decks are very very different and they have uh, they they leave a lot of room for intuition, but still it's very difficult to relate to. So I'm going to start with clearing the deck. And then I'm going to ask, so why are Omid Scooby and Christopher Boozy obsessed with Yankee Wally? What, why are they obsessed with Yankee Wally? What is the cause of their obsession? What do they think they can achieve? Why are they obsessed with Yankee Wally? And this is a seven card spread. And... The first card is what do they uh, hope to achieve? And the card that I get is the Fool. Okay, so the Fool is the energy of a beginning and of ending. And it looks like they want to uh, end uh, Yankee Wally's uh, um, YouTube channel, and this is what they hope to achieve. Uh, the Fool is uh, actually a, a card of uh, ending a cycle and beginning a new one. But if we're looking at what they want to achieve, this is also a card that speaks about freedom. So they want freedom for their queen to achieve, to do whatever she wants without anyone uh, telling her, uh, tell, uh, telling about her, uh, uh, her the, the things that she does wrong. Uh, they don't want any criticism. This is what they're trying to avoid. And they want uh, the freedom to do whatever they want. They want to, the freedom to control Twitter, to control Getter, to control all of those uh, 
um, uh, social media outlets uh, to control free speech, uh, 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 which is uh, uh, another way of looking at the fool. Uh, but also because this is a card of ending uh, and beginning, so it looks like they want to end her uh, YouTube channel. And this is why the fool came up in what they want to achieve. Now, the next card is what, what is, uh, what is this, the thing that they should do instead of uh, trying to uh, target Yankee Wally? And we get the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of planning and strategy. And as I said many times, it, looks, it, can, it can look as a good card, but also as a bad card, because it can strategy and planning can be used for either both of these uh, uh, things. I mean, they can use can be used for good things and for bad things. Uh, but uh, if we're talking about what they should be uh, uh, looking at uh, or should be doing instead of uh, targeting Yankee Wally, they should be starting to strategize and to plan uh, maybe how they can uh, affect uh, the Sussexes in a good way and not only in a, in a, a way of targeting people that uh, don't like her, that uh, call her out on the things that she's doing uh, wrong. So uh, this card tells us uh, that they... Uh, should be starting to strategize and to plan ways of uh, getting uh, the Sussexes on the good eye of the media and not all, all, all the time getting them a, a bad publicity. Uh, and this is the way to help the Sussexes if they want to help them so much. So this is what they should be doing instead of targeting Yankee Wally. So... Uh, how is Yankee Wally relevant to their life? And what I get is the uh, Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, it is a card of destruction, on, of failure. And usually it is destruction and failure that uh, results from a the energy of the Four of Pentacles, that is uh, the uh, adhering to what you have because you feel threatened. So it looks like uh, both, both Boozy and Omid Scooby right now are in this uh, energy of feeling destruction, feeling failure. Uh, and uh, Yankee Wally is the reason because uh, they haven't achieved what they came out to do. Christopher Boozy boasts of being able to uh, uh, to be uh, very uh, strong on Twitter. He managed to get Murky Meg out of Twitter, to get Yankee Wally out of Twitter, and many others, but uh, he hasn't managed to close Yankee Wally's uh, uh, YouTube account. And more than that, he hasn't managed to make her demonetized. So she's still monetized uh, despite everything that he's doing. So right now, this is how Yankee Wally is relevant because the Sussexes are not happy. They're not happy and this is the energy that uh, both Omid Scobie and I think that Omid Scobie is even in a worse place because right now because uh, we haven't heard anything from him in the past uh, few months and it looks like he was shunned by the Sussexes completely and uh, getting at Yankee Wally was uh, in a way uh, trying to be on the good side of the Sussexes, trying to go back to being in their uh, uh, inner circle. Uh, but this is how he feels right now. He feels outside of the uh, promised place. He, he feels uh, he's outside in the cold. He feels destruction. He feels that he failed. So this is how Yankee Wally is relevant to them. Um,
The next card is a, what caused their obsession. And the card that I get is the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is a card that speaks about uh, taking time off. Uh, taking, and we, do, we did see that Megan was uh, absent from uh, anything uh, major uh, for at least 100 days. Uh, it looks like... A, uh, Megan didn't want to uh, be uh, tackled by anyone in the media and decided not to decide, decided to take some time off. So uh, this is in the root of uh, Boozy's and Scobie's uh, need to go after uh, Yankee Wally. They feel that Yankee Wally, in a way, is responsible for, for Megan's uh, reluctance to go out and do things. And the only thing that we saw her doing is going out uh, on this dinner date with uh, Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank, but she didn't even go to the Super Bowl. So uh, it looks like they feel that Yankee Wally and others like her are responsible responsible for Megan's inability to go and face uh, the media, face the world, and her need to uh, decide not to, to decide, her need, and, and even in a way feeling uh, physically sick. So this is what caused them, this is like what made them uh, go out and uh, protect their queen in a way uh, and find a way to try to target Yankee Wally and others that are the uh, 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 damaging uh, Megan's uh, uh, public image, uh, uh, and they want to be able to to be able to make Megan come out and face the world once again. So this is the fourth card. The fifth card is. Uh, what kind of tactics are they using? And the tactics that they're using are the lovers. So the lovers card is a card that is actually speaking about being total. So right now, this is their tactic. They are being total. They are not leaving one stone unturned. They are going after Yankee Wally in every way they can. And and as uh, Omid Scobie said, he, the, the, the Metropolitan Police is already, uh, know, already know about her. They already uh, uh, looking at her. And they, they are trying to do everything in their power to, uh, to get to her. So uh, the lover's card has a few meanings. So one of the meanings is being total in what you're doing. The other meaning is uh, taking away uh, from your path, everything that is redundant. So this is another way of looking at this card. Uh, they are trying to take away from uh, Megan's path or from Megan's life, the people that are targeting her, all the people that are uh, calling her out. So this is what they're trying to do. And they're being very total by doing that. They are being very uh, meticulous. They are doing everything they can to get all of those YouTube channels out uh, and uh, uh, all of the people that they can target, they're trying to target. So this is how they do that. And the next card is what... Uh, what is in the root of their uh, jealousy? What if, is in the root of even Megan's jealousy? And we get the priestess, which is uh, the high priestess, which is secrets. So secrets and mystery. This is what this card is all about. This is a card that speaks about walking after the mystery. So uh, we don't know. 
because the high priestess is a card that actually doesn't give us an answer because it is a secretive uh, card. So there are secrets. There are secrets that uh, Megan is hiding and shielding even from her minions and uh, secrets that she is protecting even with a ring of fire uh, around her but uh, these secrets are the reason that she is uh, so obsessed after the people that are uh, coming after her and this is why she is uh, making all the people that are her minions go after all of those people. She's afraid to death that her secrets might come out. But we don't know what are those secrets. We can uh, conjecture, we can speculate, but we don't know what those secrets are. So the last card in this uh, spread is how um, is a... Uh, how is there uh, uh, the way that they are targeting Yankee Wally is affecting her. And we get the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is the aloof knight. So it is the knight that is waiting to be ignited. And because of that, he misses opportunities. So it looks like they are not so successful in targeting Yankee Wally because Yankee Wally is still out there. She's still posting. And the only reason that she took some time off was because of her uh, dental issues. But uh, she is still uh, monetized. And this is what this card says. This card is a card of a person that is not enthusiastic and is not being excited. And because he's not excited, he's not enthusiastic, he misses the opportunities. So both Boozy and Omitskobi, uh, both of them are uh, missing the opportunity to actually really target Yankee Wally. So it doesn't look like they are going to succeed. And this is the actual outcome of this spread. No BS detector today. If you have any uh, ideas, uh, you can email me. So now I'm going to take two oracle cards. One from the broken dark mirror, uh, which will uh, depict Boozy and uh, Omid's Kobe. So first, I'm clearing the deck. Boozy and Omid Scobie. Boozy and Omid Scobie. Boozy and Omid Scobie. And what I get about them is... Obsession! I couldn't even make it up. <laughs> it is like the perfect card. Uh, and now I'm going to take another card for Yankee Wally. And this is an inspirational card from uh, the greatest inspirations. I think that's how it's called. insightful or uh, insightful inspirations. Uh, and this could should be uh, a positive card that will give some kind of inspiration for Yankee Wally. Okay, so one more shuffle. And now clearing the deck. Okay, inspiration for Yankee Wally. Inspiration for Yankee Wally. Inspiration for Yankee Wally. Okay, so the card that I get is 
Rise above the clouds, that, like the perfect card. Uh, laughter and smile clear away all the clouds. So this card actually tells her to rise above all of the... Uh, Uh, all of the things that they are trying to do that, to her, to rise above the clouds and everything will be okay. So I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.